Good evening and welcome to the 48th annual YWCA Hamilton Women of Distinction Awards Gala presented by Arcelor Middle DeFasco. Make some noise. We have our first winner here at the Women of Distinction Award. We have Sashayna Singh, congratulations. Thank you so much. So tell me, what do you feel right now in this moment? I feel very honored and grateful for this opportunity and I think it's a really, um, I think it's quite um, special to be celebrated. I don't think we take enough time to stop and celebrate the women, girls, and gender diverse people in our communities. And I understand that you are heavily involved with McMaster, so tell me what you do there. Yeah, um, I'm the senior manager in the Office of Community Engagement at McMaster University, so we do a lot of work to build partnerships with uh, community organizations and community members with what's happening at McMaster around uh, research, teaching, and education, um, and help to support folks to do really incredible and um, equitable work in our communities and, and partner with folks at the university. Incredible work just like you. What would you like to say to your nominator? Ah, Kim, thank you so much. This is such a, um, yeah, a special moment. I think it's sometimes hard to step back and um, appreciate all of the things that are happening. So grateful to Kim for her leadership and her mentorship and um, for all of the folks that wrote really beautiful letters of support. It Congratulations to Ada Tang for your award of Women of Distinction. Congratulations. How do you feel? Uh, shaking, to be honest, but uh, really, really grateful and humble and um, yeah, and, uh, and actually inspired by everyone that's in the room today. It's an incredible feeling to be surrounded by so many accomplished women. Tell me about your contribution to the community. Well, I hope that I can make a small contribution and represent, you know, all the women who have inspired me along the way. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to be inspiring, uh, hopefully, the next generation of researchers who are changing science and, and developing, um, you know, important information to change the lives of people with stroke. I love the fact that you have a science background, and so congratulations. And who are you here with today? Uh, I'm here with my husband and really good friends and, and the team in the School of Rehab Science at McMaster University. I'm sure everyone is very proud of you. Congratula congratulations again on your win. Thank you so much. Thank you very we much. We have Yelena Vermillion, another winner of the Woman of Distinction Award. Congratulations, Yelena. Thank you so very much. I am quite surprised. How exciting this is for you. Tell me, who are you here with tonight? I'm the executive director of the Sex Workers Action Program of Hamilton, known as SWAP Hamilton. So we, we do um, advocacy, education, and out, uh, outreach specifically focused on marginalized women, those in the sex trade, those who are using drugs, and those who are homeless. We do um, advocacy in health care, policy, research, and um, also within the city to get funding towards uh, arts-based engagement programming through YWC Hamilton. You must be a role model to so many women who find themselves in a position where they look to you for help. How do you feel about that? I think that all of those women and all of those people um, all also inspire other people and that those people can also be inspirations to other people in their lives if they believe in themselves and if they continue to be committed to whatever it is that they want to make a difference in, in the world. I also felt like a downtrodden person at one time in my life and it's through self-actualization, through direct action and through belief and commitment an action that we can actually transform our doubts and our insecurities into love and joy and belief. We have here Denise Christofferson, a very familiar face in Hamilton for sure. Congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. So how does it feel to be on this end of the event knowing that you were CEO of the Y before? It's a little bit relieved because I don't have to do any of the work. <laughs> no, it's a truly an honor to be recognized uh, by your former colleagues and your peers. Um, and to be amongst so many uh, women who've been nominated as for Women of Distinction, I'm truly honoured. It is true that even to be nominated is such an honour. What are you most proud of? I think that I've had an opportunity to uh, serve in the nonprofit sector and, um, and partner with so many amazing organizations in our community. Um, I'm proud that we were able to build the Putman family YWCA on Ottawa Street. 
um, that today we see, you know, 50 uh, individuals and families living in that building. Um, and I can't wait to see what the YWCA does next. I'm so happy to introduce to you Dr. Kim Jones from McMaster University. Congratulations on your award. Thank you so much. I'm really honoured to have been recognised like that. And tell me about your nominator and what it means uh, to you to have been nominated. So my nominator is herself an incredible trailblazer, Dr. Juliet Daniel. Uh, she was a woman of distinction a few years ago. She is uh, a role model for many black uh, women who want to go into science. Uh, she shows every day how to be inspiring, to help others, to um, bring people up, and I hope that I can uh, live up to the work that she's done. Well, she must see those same qualities and character characteristics in you too. Tell me what are you most proud of in the work that you've done? I think I'm most proud of the work that we've done to inspire young women and gender diverse individuals to consider and enroll in engineering. So although it's not solely my work, we're so proud that the percent of women in Ontario in engineering has risen from 21 to 26 percent over the last six years, particularly due to some of the incredible work at McMaster. Our first year engineering cohort is 43 percent women. Uh, Next year, maybe the year after, gender parity. Uh, and we're also always working to create uh, all manner of diversity, intersectionality, uh, represent the ideas. We want engineering to represent our community because that is how we'll solve the big problems that we need to in the world. I'm excited to have Kanisha Bwahini here. Congratulations on your award. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So tell me, how does it feel to be a, an award winner of this very prestigious uh, event? It is my deepest honor to, to be a recipient of an award that I know carries so much legacy behind it. I know that I'm not here by accident and that I'm standing on the shoulders of many women that have come before me. So it is an incredible honor to be standing here and I feel blessed and humbled to be here in this moment. And what would you like to say to your nominator? Uh, to my nominator, I just want to say thank you so much for seeing me. Um, this is not a nominator that I knew personally before, so the fact that she just saw my name and saw something in me that was worth putting my name forward for um, is something that I'm deeply grateful for as well. So, so grateful to Nina uh, from McMaster University who nominated me. And one last question. To be surrounded by so many accomplished women is so inspiring. Tell me, what are you most proud of of the work that you've been doing? I would say that I'm most proud of work that I know that I am building for my younger self. I find that I've always been someone who's motivated by passion, motivated by putting faith into action and being an answer to the issues that I see as problems. I don't think it's enough to just be a bystander to the things that we see in this world. When we see a gap, I think it's our responsibility and our obligation to respond to it. And so I know that in so many ways, with the support that I have behind me, I'm so blessed to be able to be someone who can be positioned to respond to the gaps that I see and hopefully build a future where um, future me and my younger self as well, but also for every leader that is also coming up behind me, I pray to be in a position to continue to build a world that they can be proud to live in where barriers are no longer a, 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 an issue that keep them in certain boxes or places. I hope all can soar. Metty here, another award winner. Woman of Distinction, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be in a room of all these inspiring, accomplished women? Yeah, I think it's amazing to be um, in the midst of, of so much like talent, so much excellence, um, especially seeing like all of the, the young um, and lifelong um, you know, advocates who are racialized, who are brown and black. Um, I think it's a really, really beautiful thing to share space with them, so I'm grateful to be part of this. And tell me, what message do you have to our viewers who might one day be a nominator? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, to always speak truth to power, to always um, show up and do what you think is right. Um, and, yeah, I think 
I think sometimes it's going to be hard as women, and especially as racialized women. People are going to continue to put you down. But, um, yeah, we keep showing up and we keep speaking truth to power. Lifetime Achievement Award winner is Pat Smith. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How does it feel to win such a prestigious award? Well, it's an incredible, incredible honor. Did you ever expect in all the work that you've done that you'd be standing here today? Absolutely not. So what would you like to say to your nominator? I had two nominators and I would I can't express my gratitude enough for both of them who have stood by me believed in my work and worked really hard the uh, nomination process takes a lot of work and so I'm very grateful to them as you were standing giving your speech and you looked out into the audience and saw many young women what message do you have to, for them well I think as I said at the end of my speech if not you who I think that we have an incredible young group of women um, and we are going to need them. These are hard times and so I really want to encourage women to take up their issues and to do the best they can to you know, take their best foot forward and work on issues that are important to them. Well, you're definitely young at heart and very young to be continuing on with your work. What do you think you have next? I think that I'll continue to do the work I'm doing and the next step is probably to be sure that we have enough younger people to take my place when I retire.